The spider limb positioner was developed by Tenet to be an upper extremity assistant. It was initially developed to position and reposition the arm for beach chair shoulder procedures. However, the vision was to be able to use this device for as many procedures as possible. The spider provides the surgeon with better access and greater exposure to the joint with more reliable and stable positioning. A key feature of the spider is that it is manipulated interoperatively by the surgeon in the sterile field. The surgeon is no longer dependent on having a non-sterile assistant available to reposition the limb when he requires a position change. By putting the positioning in the surgeon's hands, they are able to do the positioning and get the perfect exposure, alignment or orientation that is required. The spider has three joints that are all unlocked simultaneously when a foot pedal is depressed and locked when the foot is taken off the pedal. The system allows the surgeon to reposition the limb anywhere he or she wants without having to lock a series of thumb screws or other mechanical locks. The spider has been designed to be able to support even the heaviest of limbs. The spider is powered by the regulated nitrogen or air supply in the OR. The air connections used by the spider are Schrader medical air fittings. The OR air or nitrogen pressure must be set between 100 and 110 psi or 6.8 to 7.5 bar. If the pressure is set too high, a pressure release valve will release, causing a loud drumming noise. If this happens, disconnect the air supply and lower the pressure from the regulator. The location on the OR table where the spider is connected is dependent on the type of procedure being done. We will give some recommendations, but it will be up to the surgeon to determine exactly where he wants the spider. The spider attaches to any standard OR table rail. The orientation and adjustability of the spider allows for the same unit to be used for beach chair shoulder, lateral shoulder, elbow and wrist procedures. The top of the clamp is placed over the rail and then the lower jaw fits over the rail. If the clamp is not open fully, the lower jaw will hit the rail. Tighten the actuating knob and swing the threaded ring handle clockwise to lock the spider on the rail. The spider can be oriented at different angles on the OR table. It can be placed parallel, perpendicular or at 45 degree angles to the rails on the OR table. The spider can be attached to the back of the T-Max beach chair by attaching it in the same manner as to the OR rails. Between cases, the spider can be left on the T-Max. If the operative shoulder changes from right to left, the spider amplifier is flipped by loosening the rotational handle and moving it so it faces the other direction. The T-Max is slid to the operative side of the OR table. Then, ensure that the ball socket joint is even with the side of the OR table. The spider is connected to the air or nitrogen supply with standard Schrader medical fittings at a pressure between 100 and 110 psi. The spider has a safety switch inside the foot pedal. This switch must be pushed forward prior to depressing the pedal. The spider has been developed with a number of different terminal accessories which allow the spider to be used for different procedures. All the accessory bars have been designed to be interchangeable through the use of the spider's quick connect system. Each accessory has a hex shaft that fits into a hex opening on the spider. They connect together and can be disconnected by pushing on the button. The piggyback connector is always inserted into the spider as an intermediary between the sterile and non-sterile fields. There are two types of piggyback connectors that are interchangeable. Both types have identical male posts and female receptors. The only difference between the two is the locking mechanism. The original piggyback has a blue cam lock mechanism that secures the accessories in place by rotating the cam into the locked position behind the release button. The second piggyback connector has a blue sliding ring lock mechanism that slides up behind the release button to lock the accessories in place. For the original piggyback connector, any accessory cannot be inserted until the cam is rotated into the open position to allow the male post to be inserted completely. The release button is pushed to remove any accessory. When the cam lock is rotated behind the release button, the accessory cannot be disconnected. With the second piggyback connector, the device cannot be disconnected until the ring is slid down into the open position to allow the release button to be depressed. The release button is pushed to remove any accessory. 
When the ring is in place behind the release button, the accessory cannot be disconnected. For each surgery, the accessory bars to be used must be autoclaved and cooled before surgery. For each case, the piggyback, connection bar, shoulder, lateral shoulder or elbow, and traction accessory if needed must be sterile. As well, the appropriate sterile kit must be in the OR. The spider connection accessories are used sterile during each case. Sterilization is usually done by autoclave. The parts can be autoclaved in a gravity autoclave at 132 to 134 degrees Celsius for at least 10 minutes or in a pre-vac autoclave at the same temperatures for at least 3 minutes. It is very important to ensure that they are cool before they are used. Be aware that some of the thicker parts, the handles on the bars or the traction accessory, will retain heat longer than the thin bars. After the patient is intubated, prepped and draped, the spider can be prepared for surgery. The usual procedure to prepare the spider to ensure sterility is to have a sterile person insert the sterile piggyback into the distal end of the spider. The sterile person then will open the base of the drape and drop it over the top of the piggyback, ensuring that the top face of the piggyback is completely uncovered. The quick connect can be locked at this time. They can then pull the drape all the way down to the spider amplifier being careful to ensure that the outer drape remains sterile. Tape can be used to tighten the drape onto the piggyback. I've used the spider arm positioner for the past five years. It's an excellent device and it's significantly improved the quality of the shoulder surgery that I perform. Uh, it's useful for a variety of reasons. First of all, it obviates the need for a first assistant, so one does not have to worry about variability in positioning of the arm and maintaining a stable arm position. Second of all, it allows for a consistency to the procedures from one procedure to the next. Third of all, it can be incorporated into the technique that one uses for arthroscopy or arthroplasty. It's particularly useful when I do shoulder arthroscopy for arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. Since I can position the arm and hold it in a position that allows me to access different portions of the shoulder using uh, cannulas and anchors and then also allows me to tie my knots without tension on the tissue. In the case of shoulder arthroplasty, it's very helpful not to need to have an assistant to hold the arm when one exposes the humerus or the glenoid. It can be used with or without the T-Max beach chair. And the advantage of the device is it works not only in a beach chair position, but also in a lateral decubitus position. So that if one needs to do a posterior approach to the shoulder, you do not need an assistant or a Mayo stand to position the arm to allow you to access the posterior part of the shoulder. All told, it is a consistent device that I use in every single shoulder surgery that I perform. And uh, it's probably one of the most valuable pieces of equipment that I take to the operating room with me when I perform shoulder surgery.